after two years of virtual programming, after two years of pandemic, after two years of for many of us having to go back into the closet, it's really rewarding. It's it's an honor too. It's we're excited to be on the streets celebrating Pride. For the first eight or nine years of coming to Pride, which I started in my early 20s, these were all I was still in the closet. So I will attend Pride as an employee of an organization or a, attend Pride with the union. But I have to say it was it felt very liberating when I were able to attend Pride as a member of the community. And since then, I have not stopped and I'm not planning to stop. During the pandemic, we saw two things. We saw one, folks got to connect with other queer folks, whether that was virtually, but we also had a, quite a number of people that went back into the closet. So the pandemic created isolation and it forced quite a few queer folks back in. This opportunity today is giving all of us an opportunity to celebrate both the ones that went into the closet and the ones that decided to come out of the closet during the pandemic. Having all the events back is just super special. I mean, human beings are meant to be with each other and uh, socialize with each other, but Pride is, uh, you know, is a special one. It's one of the biggest. It's, uh, you know, the biggest celebration of human rights. And at a time when, you know, there are things going on in the world that seem to be aimed at taking rights away from people, uh, this is a celebration of us uh, looking to protect and to even expand uh, the rights of individuals and making sure they can feel supported and, and uh, be who they are. And so it's, uh, it's, it's a good all around. For those who are able to be in person and, and have that uh, on-site connection uh, it, it is incredibly powerful there's nothing like being in pride and if you've never marched with Toronto P flag or seen Toronto P flag it's a lot of love and energy uh, coming at us so I think the the best part about being in person again is the connection with others I think people have been in isolation for a long time uh, our community has addictions mental health and all these pieces that just get exacerbated by the isolation of covid and i'm not saying that a pride festival is going to fix many of those issues but that sense of community and connection that's not through a screen um, you know especially for folks who are just coming out for the first time for many of them especially families with younger kids this is the first time that they're going to connect with other kids their age who are lgbtq2s plus and yeah, I think that's one of the benefits of the, the in-person event. This is actually a really big deal for me because this is going to be my first uh, pride being on testosterone and hormone therapy. So this is kind of the first time I've been out and uh, in my community with my new body. So it's it's been it's been amazing already, just the love and support. People see my hair and they say like, oh, you look amazing, like happy pride. And everyone's so loving and like it's it's just beautiful I think just with like COVID happening and everything I just wanted to kind of be around like community and people and it's just my first big like event being out and about I think just all the different people and everybody is so unique and happy and different it's been great to see I feel very like welcomed here being a disabled queer woman it's you know you don't see a lot of us out there just in the normal world so it's nice to see a bunch of us all out together it means a like just love and being proud of who I am um, I'm love like educating and I want to be that role model for kids that I never had. Um, we've come a long way where there's a lot more people out as trans, um, whereas when I was young it was only like trans bono. So for me it's like being able to be that for kids that never had it, but it's also still a fight for us. Um, we're still not anywhere near where we need to be, so there's still a lot of fighting to be trans, to be able to be out. Um, I do live st a style, so like not really identify as trans all the time. But I do try to like be out for those people so that you know that you can be visible and still have a great life and be happy. It's a slap in the face like for us to, to gather like this and be like, you know, what, we don't care if you're going to threaten us. We're going to do it anyway. Um, it just shows the unity in this community. And, and, you know, all you have to do is look around and see the most random representations of people all together. And us as a group, like if you took all of these people and took them down, to Texas, you took all of these people over all over the world and brought them to these places, it, it would be overthrown very quickly because we're a very large group of people and, and we have that power together.